Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to drop and drop your Quarkus application on the developer sample to make it available as a serverless application. Let's get right into the demo, how it works. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start to create a new Quarkus application using Quarkus CLI, like a Quarkus create application and application project name. As an example, drag and drop. And then once you create a new Quarkus project, it's automatically generated like a Docker file and a Maven wrapper and a sample application like a Hello World. Change the directory. I'm going to open my Quarkus project using VS Code, one of my uh, prepared ID tool. You can you actually use any ID tool to generate, to develop your Quarkus application. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to run the Quarkus demo mode uh, to get started. Uh, with the Quarkus application, just a uh, quick salary test uh, how the generated code uh, works properly. And then I'm going to go to our the application, and as you can see, uh, here we go. And then uh, the Quarkus application just started as a JVM mode. And you press the W in the terminal window, it automatically starts and uh, access to your uh, landing page, your Quarkus application. And try to access point like a hello endpoint, you can find hello less easy, just like you saw in my uh, uh, green resource file. Let's try to change the return code just for fun, uh, drop your application. And then go back to endpoint and reload that page, you can see the drop your application return code automatically, immediately. This is one of the beauty of the Quarkus application. Okay, so I'm going to try to change the return code once again, I could drop your application as a server less. So I'm going to stop my Quarkus dev mode and then try to package an application. But in order to drop and drop this application, I'm going to add the Quarkus uh, packaging type as a Uber jar. So currently, we, we the OpenShift container platform support Uber jar for dropping drop your application. So I'm going to build this application to packaging like a job file, like a Uber jar, and then using Quarkus CLI once again, Quarkus build, and then adding the node task for the, the skip unit task for the uh, demo application. And when you go to target directory, you can find the Uber jar here. You can actually use Java command line, java-jar uh, to run over jar, and then you can find the Java application just running on my local machine. And then go to access endpoint, the reload the dev page, you can find the, the new output, drop your application as a server less. So here's an uh, interesting part for developer. So you have a multiple and several way to deploy your application to server less as a uh, traditional Microsoft application on Kubernetes uh, container platform. So, but for the developer standpoint, maybe you don't need to run that kind of new tools or uh, how to uh, make that application as a serverless using uh, Maven command line or some other stuff. If you, you could just drop, dr drag and drop the application on top of the, this OpenShift the container platform for serverless as well as traditional Microsoft application as a containerized application, it'll be very awesome for developers to skip all uh, necessary tasks for their daily work. Okay, let's try to do that. Here is my OpenShift cluster. It actually developer sandbox. You can go to uh, developers at reddit.com slash developer sandbox. You can sign up for free and then you can have a one small uh, OpenShift cluster for your developer application. So here's a, there's a no resource to find, which means I there's a just empty project and namespace. I'm going to open my file explorer and then just drag and drop here. Developer console, you can find the jar file. And then you can uh, set it up optional Java argument, and then I can change the runtime icon like a Quarkus. And then I can change my application name. Here's a build image based on OpenJDK 11. And then you can change the application name, and then you can label name as well. And you can select a uh, deployment config. In this case, I'm going to select a uh, serverless deployment. As you can see, the new KNAV service automatically created based on your Java file. And then when you click on the view logs for your build application, we actually deploy a packaging application based on the Docker file and then push it in image into our container registry. And then as you can see, a push is just as successful, which means you can go back to topology view. The your the new Quarkus application will be starting in a soon enough. 
as you can see, the Quarkus application just started. The JPM mode, and it takes a few seconds to start up. It's, uh, go back to topology view, because the application will be terminated automatically along with the subless behavior. As default, 30 second is the behavior to scale down to zero. So once you scale down, your application scale down to zero, and then go back, uh, just to hit the endpoint, your Quarkus application automatically started, and the endpoint will be shown to drop your application as a subless, as exactly the same output you saw in your local environment. So it, just a quick summary, uh, as a developer, you just uh, develop Quarkus application as a, as a Java application, and then the packaging application creating your Uber jar. And then you don't need to any tools or extension to deploy application to serverless or even traditional microservice application on Kubernetes. Just drag and drop your Uber jar onto OpenShift web console, like a developer UI. Uh, you can use a developer sandbox to make it happen. In you just deploy the Quarkus application in two minutes as a serverless. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.